We're not done, baby. It just takes one, baby. It just takes one. Hello everybody, this is Barbara, aka Picky Chick. I'm glad you're here. Welcome to my channel. Today we are going to open this five pound mystery box of jewelry from ThreadUp. This particular box is from Phoenix, Arizona. There it is on the label. So I'm just gonna open the box right up and get started with the unboxing. Take a quick view from the outside of the bag before I open it up and empty out the contents right here in this box. I pulled out this first piece. It is a silver tone bangle, really cute crystal arrow on top. The wear on the metal is definitely there. So this is going to go in a crafter's lot. I will not be selling this in my eBay store. What we have here is a mass of tangles and there's quite a few piles like this from this box. I am going to sort through it. Let's see what we come up with. All of these items here are going into craft. And so while you take a look at all the pieces, I want to tell you that I have good news and bad news. So let's start with the bad news. The bad news is that this box is about 70 to 80% non sellable. So um, a, a, a bunch of it is craft, but a lot of it is also wearable, something though that I wouldn't sell. For the good news, Let's just say it only takes one. It takes one item to make the whole box worthwhile. And just to add a little bit of bonus there, there is more than one piece. So with that said, this group is going into craft and I'm gonna show you some of the other pieces that are either craft or wearable, and then we'll move on to the really good stuff. I started to put all the craft stuff in a bag, so I thought I'd pick out a few of the pieces and show you that there's a watch, it's not working, and the face is scratched. Now this is a macrame or crocheted bracelet. They may be jade beads, but I'm not sure. Some really cool glass beads on this bracelet. A Roman necklace, RMN is the mark on it, it's stretched out. And then an acrylic beaded necklace. So let's move on. These are very sweet post earrings, Eiffel Tower, gold toned and clear crystal. And on the table under there, let me show you uh, all of it's going in craft except for these. And all of these are going in craft. Uh, they are wearable, but they have wear. <laughs> so I'm going to just put them all in the craft lot. These are all unbranded wearable earrings. So you can see what we have. We have some hammered statement earrings in a gold tone, some green acrylic dangle drop earrings, some more, more of a delicate dangle. And these are kind of cool. These are black metal earrings, two sizes of star dangles on there, and some coconut earrings with turquoise colored beads. Here's another unbranded piece. However, I do believe this one is sellable. This has a gorgeous Flor de Lis pendant. It's got clear crystals and then some iridescent or AB crystals in the center. I'll give you a close up on that. It's got a very nice silver tone chain and a toggle clasp. Here is an up close look at that pendant and the chain and see those three AB crystals right there. Aren't they pretty? The whole pendant, the whole necklace is pretty. And oh, by the way, better late than never. <laughs> I forgot to mention that if you do see anything in this video that you're interested in purchasing, drop me an email at kitsch.barbara at yahoo.com. I've got my email address right here up on the screen and um, we'll work out a price. I do use PayPal, so keep that in mind. Next is another Flor de Lis pendant necklace, also silver tone. This one has neon pink or fuchsia pink enamel with these hot pink crystals. It's in really good shape. It's got a Rolo, well, not really Rolo, unless there's an oval Rolo. It's a pretty long necklace. It's a 36 inches plus about a three inch extender. And this one does have a lobster clasp right there. This next piece is a brown metallic metal necklace with these abstract oval pendants in graduated sizes. This one is by Dana Buckman, which I believe is sold at Kohl's. There's a look at the pendants. Some of them have that wavy polished look and others are textured. 
And here's a look at that tag. These next three pieces are all necklaces and all have that disc theme to them. This is like a gray and silvery black disc with uh, combined with a clear acrylic disc. These are mother of pearl shells and also some silver discs. And then this is just all silver, some textured, some polished. So this one is the only one, they're all wearable, but this one is the only one I think just could use some cleaning. There are some schmutz spots on there. And this, oops, I just dropped an earring. I was gonna show you that I think these earrings go with this, although they've seen better days. And we have some matching earrings that go with this one. Here's a necklace that's not branded either, but it's in pretty good shape. And it reminds me of Madewell brand. Um, especially the pendant where it's kind of a matte silver with an artistic pendant. The chain is sort of a chunky serpentine chain and there's a better look at that pendant. This necklace also reminds me of Made Well, especially the drop here, the three pendant with the paddles. I really like it. It's sort of like a, um, a halite triangular tri-pendant with these paddles and the, on the paddles there are these clear crystals and then there are AB crystals surrounding each of these triangular pieces. Here is a better look, the pendants. And the chain is a flattened curb chain in gold tone and the finish on the gold is great. I don't see any wear on this at all. Check out this cool necklace. If this isn't a statement piece, I don't know what is. So there are these olive green beads. They are acrylic. And I don't know if you'd call that a pendant or a pendant area. <laughs> I don't know, but I really like this. It's quite different. I'm going to take you in closer on those beads. There they are. Isn't this cool? The chain is also really unique. It's got this, these twisted links in a gold tone and a matte silver tone. And here's a better look at the chain. The closure is a lobster clasp and you can see that the maker's mark here is Talbot's. I am definitely going to try to sell this. I just think it's very unusual and someone will just love it. This is a really cool bracelet. It's a black lucite piece with, see these little triangular uh, flat I don't know, panels. I'm not sure what you call those, but all of those clear crystals seem to be on there. I am not seeing a maker's mark on this, but again, this is another one of those pieces that are unusual, and I think I can sell this. Look how cute this ring is. This is a little zebra. He's got a red crystal eye, and oh my gosh, this is so cute. On this side, his eye is missing, so there needs to be a crystal I'll replace there, which I'm not going to be able to do, but it sure is cute. It is adjustable, so I don't want to pull on it too much, but oh, I wish that other eye was there. I would try to sell him. Here's another cute ring. This is a peacock and it has the crystals for the tail. It's gold tone. It's got crystals on the little head feathers, a crystal eye. This one is adjustable also. Um, I don't want to mess with it too much, but you can see that it is adjustable. There is no name brand on it, but it sure is cute, isn't it? Here is a boho style acrylic beaded necklace. Lots of layers here. Um, these are interesting. There's like a brass tone. It looks like maybe even ballet style. So um, again, no brand name on this, but it's definitely wearable. Don't worry, all the exciting pieces are coming soon. <laughs> I'm saving them. Uh, but there are still some interesting pieces to see before we get there. This next piece is a very colorful necklace enhancer. So we have a silver tone metal and these gorgeous colors in like an aqua blue or teal blue and then turquoise colors, some golds, yellows, greens, purples. So we turn it over, there's no name brand, but it is a necklace enhancer. So you slip that over your beads and there's a metallic, a metallic, a magnetic closure. So that's kind of cool. Here's another necklace enhancer pendant. This is also nice. This is a silver tone, like a winged fleur de lis. And all the crystals seem to be there. Again, we turn this over and you can see 
the magnetic closure there. Just flip it onto your beads and you've got a necklace that features this pendant. This is cool. Here we have a three-layered pink crystal necklace. The crystals actually are very pretty. They have that AB sheen to them and they have a gold tone delicate chain on each strand. Now this is one of the ones that I kind of gave up on as I was detangling. And by the way, um, after the first that first cluster I showed you that was all tangled, it took me two and a half hours. So we're actually, after that first cluster of jewelry, um, I started the video the next day. So we're into day two. <laughs> So um, in any case, I just gave up on this one. Now, I, I know it can be untangled, but um, yeah, I gave up. So a girl can only take so much at one time. <laughs> it's a pretty necklace, though. One of the reasons why it took me so long to untangle this lot is a lot of these delicate chains kind of got all knotted up together. So here they are. Here's some of them. Anyhow, this one here is Ann Taylor Loft. It's like a brushed round pendant with these pretty crystals. This one is super cute, I think. It's a gold tone metal. I guess it's a little chick or a little bird on a, um, on a branch maybe. But I just thought that was super cute. Rocking horse, a star, a crystal star, and then a round little pendant with blue crystals. So the only real name brand out of this group is this one. Both of these necklaces are practically brand new. They both happen to be Bobble Bar brand and we have gold tone. Well, both of them are gold tone, but let's look at this one first. There's a three layer pendant, these gorgeous druzies in blue green. Um, the chain is very pretty. It's very delicate. And I'm going to give you a closer look at those pendants, but first let's just take a look at this one really quickly. Another blue one with cl clear crystals all around. It's got a sideways diamond shape. See how pretty those druzies are? I love that sparkle. This does have a lobster clasp, and there is a look at the bobble bar tag on this. Here's a close up of the pendant on that other necklace. This next piece is also unbranded. We have a winged heart pendant, black enamel and crystals. And that chain that it's hanging on is 36 inches long and it's in really great shape. There is that pendant up close. And you can see what great shape this chain is in. These are fun. We have two leopard print bangles. They're plastic or resin and they are in great shape. They are really fun. I like these a lot. I think I can sell them. Here's a look at them on my arm. This is a super long artisan made necklace. We have quartz beads, probably halite there, some crystals, maybe some coral, and this thing is pretty long. We have black seed beads in between, but it's, it's pretty. You could layer it, wear it long and layer it, there's a spring clasp there, uh, or you could um, double it up. This piece is made of natural stone and pearls. Also, there are some brass spacer beads, and I love the colors. It would be especially pretty for fall. These carnelian beads are really pretty, and I like them combined with these rusty or pinkish pearls and the brass tone as well. So. The artist put together, I think, some lovely colors, and like I said, I think it would be perfect for fall. Here's another unbranded wearable piece. Got a nice gold tone chain, and these chunky stations. These are acrylic stones. They are faceted, and they are domed. I like that royal blue color on those stones. And look at the back. I like the way they're set. Isn't that cute? Here is a pretty cool necklace, no brand again, but quite wearable. It has like a modern feel to it to me. There are six strands and the chains are a flattened serpentine style chain. You can see that they're gold tone, white and black. So it's pretty slinky too. When you feel it, you will, when you wear it, you would feel the slinkiness of it. There are those chains. They're they're pretty cool. There's something about this necklace I really like. Now these are all bracelets, all going into craft, but every single one is wearable. This is a very lightweight woven style bangle. 
it's not worn or anything as far as the finish goes. This is a very lightweight crystal bangle. Again, um, nothing wrong, no crystals missing. A stretch rhinestone bracelet and a faux leather bracelet. It wraps and it's actually very pretty, but again, it's lightweight and I'm not going to be selling it. So in the craft it goes. Here's a set of very lightweight silver tone and mint green enameled bracelets. Um, there's nothing wrong with them either. Very wearable, but they're going in craft. Next is a faux pearl bracelet set. You could wear these alone or you could stack these with other bracelets. These pearls are somewhat bigger than on this bracelet and there aren't any missing stones at all. More bracelets. Again, uh, very wearable, no name, but uh, I like the design on these. So it's a set of three. No wear on them at all. They're in great shape. And here is the final set of bracelets. Now these are pretty cool. These are like an antiqued silver or matte color and there are these notches on these. Now the two on the outside have that squarish knot and then, uh, notch I should say and then the center one is a rounded. They are kind of modernist, industrial, no brand name again on them but those are kind of neat. I may put those in the cell pile. Here's a pair of coiled snake earrings. They're dangles and then they have this extra little dangled dagger kind of charm on the bottom. I do really well with snake jewelry. It seems to be very popular. Now these have three colors of metal that I'm seeing, an antique gold tone, the chain is actually a copper tone, and then almost like a brass tone on these little daggers on the bottom. There's also some clear crystals on top of the head of the snake, and the eyes are also crystal, and to me they look like they're black. Maybe this gives you a better idea of the detail on the earrings, but I'm definitely going to be selling these. Here's another pair of snake earrings. Now these are cobras. Ooh, wouldn't want to meet one in person, <laughs> but uh, like I said, they're very popular snake jewelry. So um, this one is gold tone and we have clear crystals. All the crystals are there. So this is another pair going in my cell pile. Alas, as promised, the best part of the box. Now these aren't the very best part of the box, but we're getting into some of the better pieces. These are sterling silver dyed coral earrings with a black crystal. And like I said, they're sterling and they're pretty and they're certainly sellable. Here's the next piece. It's a sterling silver twisted link bracelet. It is stamped with Italy and 925. Now, You'll notice that there is no clasp on this, but this was also in the box. So there's the clasp I can reattach. Now this is sterling silver, but this one piece right here I think was added. Um, it is not sterling silver, but it's a sweet little bracelet. Hey, I always love finding sterling. For those musically inclined, we have some more sterling silver treble clef charm earrings. Very simple, very lightweight. I meant to show this ring sooner, uh, but I still think it's special. So this is a silver tone. It's not sterling silver ring, sort of almost like a puzzle ring, modern faux pearl. It is just really different, isn't it? I love it. Let's size it just in case anyone is interested in it. This measures size six, probably almost a six and a quarter. We could probably get away with it. Now these are awesome. These are sterling silver and turquoise cabochon dangle earrings, graduated sizes of stone. These are marked on the back. There they are. WK, which I have to look up, 925 China. Probably stating the obvious here, but sterling silver and turquoise, you can never go wrong. These are really stunning. Now we have some leaf drop earrings in sterling silver and these have three fire opal stones in them. Aren't they stunning? There's a better look at the stones right here. The back of these earrings are marked 925 Israel. These have got to be artisan made. These are absolutely gorgeous. 
This is another sterling silver and turquoise earring. Now this is, I couldn't find the match to that. So this is a single earring, but this one could be easily converted to a pendant. This is the back of the earring and it is also marked 925 Israel. And there's, there's another stamp on this side right here that I'm not quite sure what it is. If you know, let me know down in the comment section. Another awesome piece with sterling silver and turquoise. Now these are round graduated size beads in turquoise with silver spacers. Really cool. This one is marked. I'll show you the tag. So there's a little oval tag just at the end it says 925 tie and then in smaller letters EX. Not sure what that means. And if you can look closely, the lobster clasp is also marked 925. These turquoise beads are just exquisite. And before I list it, I'm going to look into the different types of turquoise that it could be to make sure that I list it correctly. Um, some turquoise is worth more than others, but this, the colors in this are spectacular. Yep, more sterling silver and turquoise. I love the stone in these. These are teardrop shaped dangle earrings. Gorgeous. And wait till you see the other side. Aren't these stunning? So of course you can wear these. I'd probably choose to wear them on this side, but you can wear this earring on either side. And I almost missed the mark on these. And let me show you, or I'll try to show you. Right on the edge of the earring, it's marked 925 FD Thailand. I'm not sure yet what FD is, but I certainly am gonna look that up. If you guys happen to know and help, want to help me out, <laughs> you can leave me a comment down below. You guessed it, sterling silver and turquoise again. Look at that beautiful open work flower and scroll on these. Now you could wear these on the other side, but I don't think they're made that way. I'll show you in a second. Um, also, I did not see the same kind of mark that I did on the previous earrings. Let's turn these over. See, this is what the back looks like. Um, oh, you know what? I am seeing a mark. Let's get that closer. There you go right there, 925. We're not done, baby. Just takes one, baby. It just takes one. <laughs> I just had to do that. This is the one, the one pair that I think makes the whole box. Now, Take a good look at these earrings. What we have here, guys, is a one-of-a-kind pair of earrings. They are vintage, and they are made by a designer by the name of Rebecca Collins. Now, because I had to detangle and I went and sorted through the whole thing, I didn't realize what I had until I came across these and looked up the signature on the back. Now, here is a look at the back as I found them. And here you can see the signature. It says Rebecca Collins, Dallas, Texas. I found it to be very interesting that the other earring is stamped Bless Our Earth and then Sterling CC. The reason I say that these earrings make the whole box is I looked up Rebecca Collins and discovered that she makes one of a kind earrings. Obviously they're precious metals and natural stones and gemstones. And when I looked up the solds, they are right around $300. Maybe some less, maybe some more. Here is a look at some of the comps that have sold on eBay. So there they are. And I am super excited about these earrings. I actually loved all of the pieces, especially the ones I saved for last. I'd love to hear what you think. It's just a lesson to me that don't judge a box until you go all the way through it because it could be mostly junk or you know non-branded and then it just takes one piece of jewelry like this and thumbs up all the way. Thanks for coming in today, guys. Please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.